years now since uh, she was here. Oh, she, um, she, Um, a very comfortable house for him. Uh, and looking back to think of, of Gilgood, very much so Ellen Terry when he was born as his uh, his, his great aunt. Uh, the whole family on the side window, he was uh, half Polish. His uh, parents, uh, his grandparents in the Polish um, country were very uh, keen on acting and uh, professionals in that sense. So he had always that behind him as, as, as a, a group of uh, people encouraging him. Uh, both his brothers uh, went to uh, Oxford. He decided he didn't want to go to Ox Oxford. Um, he thought um, he would like to act. This was an early thing that he, that he did from quite an early, early time. Uh, he enjoyed with his um, brother, Val Gilbert, who did a great deal of work for uh, the radio in this country. Um, he, he decided that he would like to learn to, to make plays, to write, uh, and they actually, uh, in their early teens, uh, they made lots and lots of uh, theatres that they could act in and so on. Um, his parents knew that his old brothers were uh, academics and so on. They wondered what uh, Gilbert would do. He was very intelligent, but he didn't feel that he wanted to be an academic. The only thing he thought he might like to do, to do was possibly to design to be in some ways an architect or something like that. But his parents knew that actually more and more than what he wanted to do was to, was to act. And surprisingly, uh, he actually went to boarding school, but actually then uh, left boarding school and, and finally was found, went, went into a theatrical training uh, and, came on, and came onto, this, onto the stage. Of course, his life was, uh, was very difficult on the private side. Uh, he, he was a man who, who was a homosexual. In those days, of course, that was not acceptable in any, or hardly acceptable in many, in many, in, in many ways. Um, if by the time he was uh, in London and starting, starting to be successful, and as you know, in the 1930s, Shakespeare and so on, had rivalry with Lawrence Olivier. Two very different, two very different people. They didn't really act together very much. He had enormous friendship with Ralph Richardson, which was an amazing thing, and that carried on, as you know, into his, his elder gaps. What he did, of course, he lived in London, uh, and if you walk down um, in, in, in near St Martin's Lane, uh, you will actually see a blue clerk act for him where he lived somewhere else. It doesn't say his name, but it shows you as a special name. Again, but by uh, the 1940s, he decided, uh, just after the end of the war, that he would like to move into this uh, this house. Uh, and he moved in with his last partner, um, who lived with him for a long time. His last partner died uh, before Gilbert. Gilbert was, of course, living into his 90s. But he was very happy in, in this house, very happy. So near, how easy to walk to all the London theatres. Uh, how easy to be near Westminster School, because he went to Westminster School. He loved Westminster School. This was the well-known, the family home, really, I think, that he had the idea, the feeling of where he was. Uh, later on, of course, as you know, before he died, he was to move uh, out, of, out of London and in, into the Buckinghamshire, and get into, into the country. Had a wonderful, wonderful house there, though his partner at the time, um, who uh, uh, <coughs> did a great deal of the work on the which is there now, uh, the, the, the big house out in the country, which was about three years before they could move into it. But when they came here, uh, this, was, uh, this was a house that they could be happy to live in. It's a Regency house, and then of course built over and rebuilt in the Victorian era, but basically they are all um, houses like that. Like that. And again, as I say, very, he was very good, he was very uh, good at giving people lunches, dinners, and so on. 
unusual way of talking about him in actual fact people don't think of that but here he was actually set in the, 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 the country that he lived in spent of course a lot of time abroad as you know in the states for a long time acting and so on not quite as much uh, in, in Europe as well but a man who really set himself up as an example person uh, which is quite a time for his military uh, after a video of the British and 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 the Thank you very much indeed for coming.